Hi, I'm Dana Merritt and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to learn about Math Made Fun through playing cards, how to help your children with simple addition. Before you can do that, you have to make sure that the children know how to write the numbers the correct way. In my book, A Time for Phonics, I review as foundation that writing is so important. But to make sure, this is how you want to be sure that your children write the numbers 1 through 10. And I'm going to demonstrate for you here, and I'm going to write them upside down, and you will learn how to do that too. That would be the way that they would do the 1 from the top down. That would be the number 2. That would be the number 3. Number 4. Number 5. Number 6. Number 7. They should write an 8 like this, starting here, curving that way. Don't talk about how to do it, just do it. And I don't want you doing two little circles. It's the number 8. Do it like that, please. And writing the 9 like this, and then doing a 10, and then do the 0 with that circle, circular movement like that. You want to make sure that your children learn how to write the numbers the correct way. And then, with that understanding, then you want to be able to take the cards, and I'm going to lay this aside, and take the cards, and as you take the cards, you're going to take just the black cards, and you're going to take one through ten. It doesn't matter if it's spades or clubs. And now you're going to lay them out from the child's perspective, left to right. And then you would lay out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And yes, on my deck of cards, there is the one, and these are written in such a way similar to the way that we write them. So with the six, you can see the three pairs. With the nine, you can see the straight stick, and you can see four pairs with one left over. But for addition, what I want you to do is for a young child, you might just start one through six, for an older one through eight, or maybe one through ten. But what you want to do is you want to have them put their dominant hand down in front of the cards right there. And as they put their dominant hand down, you're going to ask them to do a simple little thing just like this. You're going to say, I want you to add like this, two plus three equals five. And so they're going to take their dominant hand, and as they do that, they're going to point to this spot here, this spot here, and this spot here, as they say the simple addition facts. And as you give them to them, make sure that they synchronize what they say, what they see, what they feel. Two plus three equals five with their dominant hand, and then go on and give them another equation. And it can be six plus one equals seven. And give them simple math facts like that and what you're doing is you're helping them learn how to visualize the plan of action, have a nice strong pencil grip when they point, and activating the motor when they touch, when they put their hand down flat, and when they say it at the same time, and it's going to help with their calculation skills. So what they see, what they say, what they feel, will all be tired, fired up together. So then as you do this, you want to give your children or child five simple equations, and then you want them to try to give you one. And it doesn't matter if it's simple. That's going to be a good skill for them. And then you give them five more, and they give them to you. And as they do them, make sure they put the hand down flat. So after you do that, then what you want to do next is pick up the cards. Once they get pretty good at this, pick up the cards. And then as you pick up the cards, you want to take the bonus cards that we have in our deck. And the bonus cards will look like this. They have the heart. And as you lay them down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to do the same exercise where you're going to give them a simple math equation and you and as you say to them to do two plus six equals eight, then what's gonna happen? They have to really look closely. They can't just rely on seeing the number two. They're looking at the numer numeracy, or the numbers being recorded on these cards. And they have to see that that's the number two, this is the number six, that's the number eight. 
and it's a really good way to enhance and store the values of number in that left-right progression. So once the children get really good at doing it this way, and then giving you an equation, then what you want to do is pick up the cards, and then go back to the black cards. And as you go back to the black cards, and if you're ready to take it up a notch, then you can have them work on addition up to and including 20. This is how you do it. Lay down the cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lay down the cards. But now you're going to activate the writing. So what you're going to do is if you say to them, I want you to add 10 plus 5 equals 15. And you want them to say it as they write it. And as you keep going, I want you to do 8 plus 4 equals 12. Then the child from their perspective should go 8 plus 4 equals 12. Have them say it, see it, feel it at the same time they're writing it. And it's so good for their brain. So once they practice this for several days and get really, really good, and several weeks even, to get really, really good at getting these math facts down, then what you want to do is you want to take it up another notch. The way you take it up another notch is you can just lay down the cards, the black cards if you want, and as you lay down the cards, then you want to see, can they do this? You're going to lay down two cards in a left to right progression, the American way, and as you lay down the cards, six plus five equals what? And you want them to be able to tell you spontaneously that it's going to be 11. It may seem hard to believe, but it really does work for children. And as you do this, four plus three, make sure you lay it down the correct way from the child's perspective. That should be seven. And as you do this, two plus one is three, seven plus eight is 15, nine plus 10 is 19. Then, if you're ready to tell, help your children to really take it up a notch, then I want you to take my cards and I want you to separate my cards in such a way that all the red are pulled out and you're just going to do the black cards. I'll explain to you more about that why later. But trust me, just pull out the black cards. And as you pull out the black cards, when your child's ready, explain to them that any of the face cards will be worth 10 points, just like in blackjack. And as you look at the face cards, any face cards worth 10 points, but the ace, ace of clubs or ace of spades, will be worth 11 points. So now what you want to do is you want to see how well, and shuffle them together so it's fair, how well can your child now activate working memory, and as they do that, you're going to have them lay down the two cards 10 plus 10 is 20. Ace, which is going to be 11, plus 10 is 21. And you want to see how fast you can do this. 8 plus 1 is 9. And get so good at this that you don't even need to say the numbers. That this is 5, this is added up to 4, 9, 11. That you time yourself on this, 16, and see how long it takes you to do all of the black cards, and you want to challenge your children, your teenagers primarily, that they can do this addition as quickly as you can. So through these simple exercises, through making sure that they write the numbers the correct way, making sure that they recognize the numbers, making sure that they even have an internal sense of what does the five look like, what does the eight look like, what does the four look like, all of those numbers, that as they do that, they'll get really good at adding uh, 1 through 20, and hopefully you've enjoyed doing this, and we look forward to teaching you more on Math Made Fun the Merit Way. Thank you.